Here's a wild fact. When you think of extremely high earners on YouTube, you're probably thinking of channels like PewDiePie or Mr. Beast. But there's a hidden gem right in the middle of YouTube that most people overlook. No vlogging, no reacting, no face on camera. Just simple, short kid songs. And they absolutely profitable. Take a look at these channels. They post short kid songs and pull in millions, sometimes billions, of views. And the estimated revenue, easily thousands per day, stacking into six-figure months. And here's the twist. Thanks to AI, you can now make this exact type of video completely free. No filming, no singing, no animation skills required. In this video, I'm breaking down the exact five-step AI workflow I use to make kids' song videos, lyrics, music, images, animation, and final edit. Let's go! You're watching What's Next AI. All right, step one is coming up with the song idea and the lyrics, and we're letting AI handle everything. First, I start with this prompt. I ask GPT to generate 10 animated kids' song ideas with high monetization potential for ages 2 to 4. The goal here is to find topics parents actually search for, not random concepts. From the list, I pick 1 to 10 animal parade. Numbers plus animals is a proven formula, and it works really well for repeat watch time. Now I move to the second prompt. This time I ask GPT to actually write the lyrics. I'm aiming for about 2 minutes of lyrics because that usually turns into a 2 to 4 minute song, which is the sweet spot most big kids channels use. GPT gives me the chorus plus all 10 number verses, super simple and sing-along friendly. Once the lyrics look good, we're done with step 1. Now let's move to step 2, generating the music. Now that the lyrics are ready, it's time to turn them into a real song. And we're doing that in Suno. I just copy the full lyrics from GPT, paste them into the lyrics box here, and then type in the style I want. In this case, I'm telling Suno to make a two-minute children's song for ages two to four with a simple, memorable melody, similar to Baby Shark or the cleanup song. Then I hit Create, and Suno instantly generates two full versions of the song. Let's listen. March, march, animal parade. Nice. Both are really catchy and super easy to sing along to. I'll pick the one that feels the most fun and save it for later in the edit. Once the music is locked, we can move on to step three, creating the visuals. Now we move to the visuals, where we need both GPT and Google's Whisk to make it work. First, in GPT, we generate all the image prompts we'll need for the whole song, the background, the animal characters, the opening chorus, the mini chorus, and all 10 number scenes. I use one single structured prompt so everything comes out in the same style. The reason we do it this way is because Whisk works best if we create two base images first, one background image and one animal lineup image. These two will act as our reference so every scene looks like it's from the same world, same lighting, same style, same characters. Once GPT gives me all the prompts, we switch over to Google's Whisk. First, I paste the background prompt and generate one static parade street that will be reused in every scene. Then I paste the animal characters prompt and generate the full lineup of all 10 animals in one image. That becomes the subject reference for everything else. After those two are ready, I can start building the first real scene, the opening chorus. I drag the parade street into the scene box, drag the animal lineup into the subject box, then paste the chorus prompt from GPT and hit generate. If the first result isn't perfect, I just regenerate a few times until it looks right. That same setup repeats for the rest of the scenes, always using the same background and the same animal base image so everything stays consistent. Here's a quick tip. Once the numbers get higher, like 6 to 10, Whisk will sometimes add extra animals or miscount. If that happens, just regenerate a few times or tighten the wording in your prompt, something like show exactly seven animals, no extras. If this workflow is helping, just drop a quick like 
and let me know what kind of AI content tutorials you want to see next. Now we have all the images ready. Let's move to step 4 and turn them into animation. It's time to turn the images into animated video clips, and for this step, I'm using Grok, with a little help from GPT when needed. I just upload the image to Grok and let it animate the scene automatically under normal mode first. The render usually finishes in under a minute, which is really fast. Then I also try the same image in fun mode, just to compare. Sometimes fun mode adds more playful motion, sometimes normal mode looks cleaner, so I just pick whichever version feels right for the song. If neither version looks quite right, I go back to GPT and ask it to write a more specific animation prompt. I paste that into Grok and regenerate to see if it can make a perfect shot. But most of the time, Grok already gives a good result without me doing anything extra. Once I'm happy with the animation, I save the clip and repeat the same process for all the other scenes. Elephant, giraffes, monkeys, all the way up to the ending chorus. By the time this step is done, we have a full set of animated clips in the same style, ready for the final edit. Now we're ready for step 5, putting everything together. So now we can put everything together inside CapCut. First, I import all the video clips from Grok, along with the final song from Suno. I drag the audio track onto the timeline first so the music becomes the base of the edit. Then I start dropping each animated scene onto the timeline, matching the visuals to the lyrics until everything lines up. Since Grok includes its own background audio by default, I go to the Audio tab and turn off the volume for every clip. That way, the only sound in the final video is our song. I also want to add the title of the song at the beginning, 10 Animals on Parade. I just open the text tab, pick a template, choose a kid-friendly style, resize it, and place it on screen. Then I go to the Filter tab and apply the clear filter. It makes all the clips look cleaner and a little sharper. The edit's done and everything's in place, so the video is ready to export. And just like that, we've turned lyrics, music, images, and animation into a finished kid song video. Now let's watch the final result. March, march, animal parade, count the friends we made. One, two, three, come follow me. Four, five, six, in harmony. Seven, eight, nine, then ten, we cheer. The animal parade is here. One big elephant stomp, 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 waves his trunk. Two tall giraffes stretch up high, nibble leaves up in the sky. Three little monkeys swing, 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 laugh and clap, ding, ding, ding. March, march, join the line, next we go to four, five, six, it's counting time. So that's the full five-step workflow. Blank idea to finished kid song video, all made using free AI tools. Now you know the recipe. So when are you dropping your first million view hit? If you want more tutorials like this, subscribe. And a quick like really does tell YouTube to show it to more people. This is What's Next AI. See you in the next one.